thought about his um, his mom and his brothers, and really that's all they wanted was justice. That is a close friend of David Joseph responding to a grand jury's decision. Joseph is the unarmed 17-year-old shot and killed by an Austin police officer while running naked in the street back in February. And today, a grand jury decided Officer Jeffrey Freeman will not face criminal charges in that deadly shooting. KXAN's Aaron Cargyle shows us how Joseph's family and friends are dealing with this news tonight, Aaron. Robert and Shannon, obviously, they're not happy. And today, the district attorney also released this dash cam video of the shooting. Officer Freeman told investigators once he got out of his car and grabbed his gun while Joseph was sprinting toward him, he didn't have time to switch to his taser. Joseph's close friend told me this was extremely difficult to watch. Him. On Robin Oswald's right arm, a permanent reminder of her friend David oh, Joseph. Well, it means you're forever in my heart. His brother wrote it in Haitian Creole, their native language. For now, it's kind of like my way of knowing that he'll always be with me even though he's not here physically. Today, she learned the police officer who took Joseph's life will not face criminal charges. I really felt disappointed. Robin visits but, the Joseph uh, family often really and says she has talked to Joseph's mother about this scenario. His mom told me, though, um, if they don't get the justice they need through the courts, then the only thing we can look to now is God. She says the final moments of his life were hard to watch, but gave her more perspective about the officer's actions that day. I don't know what was going on, but he needed help, obviously. In a situation like that, somebody needs some help. And as a police officer, you should be trained to recognize that from the jump immediately. If he would have maybe stayed in the car for a couple more seconds and really f studied the situation a for a second, like looked other than just going straight into it and jumping out of his car, maybe it would have been a different outcome. And we've put in several calls to Officer Freeman's attorney for a response of the grand jury decision, but have heard nothing. About an hour ago, Austin police emailed a statement to us saying they respect the process and stand by the police chief's decision to fire Officer Freeman. We do know Freeman still plans on fighting to get his job back. We will continue staying on top of this story for you. You can also watch an extended version of that dash cam video on our website, kxan.com. And Aaron, thank you. This was another police shooting in Austin where an officer wearing a body camera could have provided another angle. Later this summer, police plan to put body cameras on 500 officers. It's a project many in Austin have been waiting three years for. And APD's final body camera policy came out just this week. The policy speaks to when officers must use the cameras. It also addresses rules for how long to keep video evidence. But already there is a coalition calling for more community comment. We have posted the final policy on our website.